Alright, hey YouTube, um, today as you can see by the title, this is the first official uh, jailbreak for the iPod Touch 1st Gen, uh, iPhone 2nd Gen, and iPhone 3G uh, for Windows. This is, the first, this is the first working one that I've seen without getting the 1600 error. So uh, yeah, you guys will be in for a surprise. And uh, just to show you that I am on the 3.0 software, or the 3.1.1. I will uh, go right here, and as you can see right there, it says version 3.1.1, uh, and and all the all the links to in this video will be in the description. So just go over there and download everything. Uh, now, as you can see, I'm not jailbroken right now. I just reformatted the whole thing, and uh, now I'm going to show you what to do first what you need to do is uh, you will need to have I believe it's three or four programs you're gonna need to have the I hate snow program the you're gonna have to have iTunes 9 you're gonna have to have the custom I've iPod touch software or whatever you're running and uh, yeah I believe that's it now uh, all you need to do first of all is have your iTunes open that's all you need to do for right now. I right, know, as you can see, my iTunes is open. It recognizes my iPod as uh, version 3.1.1, uh, KJR's iPod, stuff like that. All right, then next, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your iPod into DFU mode. So how you do this is you just turn it off first of all and then as you can see uh, I slide the power off and then uh, it, my my iTunes has lost connectivity to the uh, iPod and it is completely off then what you do is you hold the power button up here and the home button down here for 10 seconds at the same time and then after 10 seconds you let go of the power button and hold the home button for another 10 seconds or until your computer goes boo or something like that and it'll show your iPod or it'll say waiting for iPod and it'll come up in DFU mode so let's go right now uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2 now uh, you don't even have to count your computer will just boot up as you can see mine will pretty soon this is taking extremely long and now as you can see um, I had I hate snow running in the background so uh, what you're going to want to do is once your iPod comes up uh, in DFU mode in iTunes, uh, hold on, let me get closer so you guys can see this. Just click OK. Minimize the screen. Uh, Internet Explorer 8, you douche. All right, let's just get out of this. Now, uh, the I Hate Snow program should be this one right here. Hold on, let me. This one right here. Let me get a little bit closer. It should say iReb 3. Point, or version 3.1 for Windows. Now, uh, this is all you need. What you do, or what you should do, is uh, have your iTunes open. And then uh, open this. It will automatically close your iTunes. That is perfectly normal. Now, uh, for whatever iPhone or for whatever one you have the iPhone 2G iPhone 3G or iPod touch first gen uh, you click whichever one you want uh, for me I'm gonna do iPod touch first gen and then uh, down here it should say open iTunes to restore to a custom firmware this is where the firmware that you downloaded before uh, the one in the link description this is where this one comes into play all you do is you click open iTunes to restore to a custom firmware now uh, it'll come back up with this and it should say iTunes is detected in iPod in recovery mode you must restore the iPod yada 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 now before you even go any further 
your iPod should look like this. It should have a white screen. Um, disregard the red screen thing that it said on the, the I Hate Snow program. All you need is a white screen. And what you do is you go over here to restore. It's right there. And all you do is you click, you hold down the shift key. Since you're on Windows, you hold down the shift key. And then you click restore. It should come up with uh, uh, a search box so you can find your custom iPod Touch firmware or whatever you're running. Now it should say this iPod dash one or iPod one comma one underline three point one point one customer store. Uh, just click that and then click open. And now um, let's just watch my iPod as it goes. Or, well, it should say extracting software. Now, um, this will work 100% of the time. If it did not work, replay this video and then um, go through all the steps again because you have done something wrong. Now, as you can see, my iPod boots up with a pineapple logo, which means it is jailbroken. And that's all that's all you gotta do. This is the easiest way um to do it. I know other people have seen that Ty's iPhone help guy. He doesn't I guess apparently he didn't know what he was doing, didn't do enough research, whatever he didn't do, uh he didn't do it. But I did, I took the time out to do this for you guys and um there you go. That is a jailbroken iPod touch three point one point one. Um Yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.